Hello, Patsy Wagner here. Thanks for stopping by Stamps to Die For. Everyone is busy and I love to show quick and easy cards you can make when you have limited time. And today's card is one of those. It looks like you fussed, but you really didn't. So it's a fun fold card that opens up like this. And it's just a really quick and easy card. So let's get started and I'll show you how. We're going to start out with our base, which is Tangelo Twist, and it's four and a quarter by nine and a half. And I've scored it at five and a quarter. And it will open up with a fold on the bottom like this. Now, on the front of that card is our little spider doilies. These are awesome. You get 24 of them in a package for $4.50. I mean, what kind of deal is that? You can see here that the spider web doilies um, are just cool and you can have them either black or white depending on your project. And I like to pair it up with this Happy Haunting Designer Series paper. These are both featured in the holiday catalog on page 47, so take a peek. If you don't have a holiday catalog and you've ordered from me before this in the past year, be sure and contact me so I can send you out one. And for those of you that don't have one and would like one, um, contact me and I'll let you know how. Now I'm going to be using our new fine tipped glue pen. This is a great, great glue pen for um, this type of project. Because this is such a fine pro project, you know, to get glue on, it's very hard to use snail or a glue stick. Um, and our Tombow glue is pretty sticky for this kind of project. So this comes with this little thing that when you go put it back, you want to make sure you get it right in that hole. I kind of um, support the, my finger here so I don't break it. And then you screw it on tight. So it's, it works every time. We're going to just glue, um, put some little glue pieces here. Okay, so now we have our glue on our project and we're just going to flip it over and we're going to lay it on our card front like this. And I like to place it down and rub it that way if there is any glue that comes out from those openings, I don't have it all over my fingers. And you're going to just take your little paper snips and snip off those ends um, like this. That way we won't have anything overlapping and getting bent in our envelope. So that's the first part of our card. Now, for our focal point, which is this little witch, I pre-stamped this with our Archivio Black ink pad, which I am then able to watercolor with. This is a permanent ink and so when you watercolor it doesn't bleed. Um, just a little tip about our ink pads, they come with all these labels in different languages and I always leave one on the back so I know what color it is if it's upside down. Then you put the one in your language here but I also cut off the little tips so on the inside, so if I'm working on a lot of projects and I have a couple ink pads open, sometimes these darker pads can all look the same color and I can see which one is which. So now we've done that which I've pre-colored most of it, but I am going to show you, I absolutely love aqua painters and I've showed you a few weeks, weeks ago some water coloring done with these. But I am just going to show you here that if you haven't had one of these, it's like having all of Okay, my camera ran out of memory while I was recording. I had too many videos stored on it. So I was telling you about the aqua painters and how when you squeeze your pad, you can get them. And there's just water in here and you just squeeze them and clean them on a paper towel. They're very cool and fun. And again, you have the access to all the colors of ink that you have ink pads for. So that's our little focal point. Um, this is, I've stamped on the shimmery white, which is really great to watercolor on. I'm going to now put this, um, the per shimmery white is two and a half by three and a half. I'm just going to run my snail along this, and now I'm mounting this 
on a piece of basic black that is two and three quarters by four and a quarter. And I have scored this at three and three quarters. So we have this little fold that we're gonna make. So that is going to be, you know, that little flip up part of our card. So now inside our card, um, I forgot to mention that the stamp set I'm using today, I think I forgot to mention that in the beginning, is Haunt You Later. And this was the one that my granddaughters and I picked out for us to do our Halloween projects. Of course, they love the cat and everybody loves the witch and the little Dracula. So I ordered this in wood because I don't really feel that I need to see where I'm going to be stamping. And when that's the case, I often order the wood stamps. Now I'm going to be adding a, some, a little piece of designer paper and this is the haunting, um, happy haunting paper which you know has got all that great double sided paper. Um, just love this stuff. I'm going to be using the one I chose which is one and a half by three and three quarters and we're going to adhere that just to the very top of the inside of our card. Now you could pick whatever color you like. I just wanted to have some orange pattern here, but maybe you would want the ghosts. It's totally up to you. That's the beauty of double-sided paper. So, oops, I put that on the wrong thing. You ever do that? Well, I do those things quite often, actually. So here we go. I'm going to start over with a different piece. So we're going to just layer this on the top of our card like this and then I'm going to be stamping my little greeting with our archival black just in the center of that and then we're going to adhere that in to the center of our card like this and we're going to burnish, burnish, burnish. I can't say that enough. Oh, you know what? I forgot again. See, this is how this goes almost every time I do something like this. We want to adhere this to the back side like this. So now you have to squeeze a little. You'll love the fact that I'm goofing this all up today because that's usually how things are on my stamping desk. How about yours? So there we have our little um, witch, our little flipper upper, and then we just are going to add a little tag. Um, this is haunt you later. I want to say alligator. We're going to take our hexagon punch. I use this all the time to make these little banners. And of course, if I can find a dimensional here, we're going to stick a dimensional on there. And we're just going to put our little haunt you later. Have a fantastic Halloween. I hope you enjoy today's project um, of the little fun fold card. And I hope you'll go home and try, go home and try this. That's what I would say if you were here at a class. I hope you'll give this a try. It's just an easy card. You can even make them flip over this way if you like. So there's a lot of options. Hope you enjoyed it. Hop over at my blog at www.stampstodiefor.com. Happy stamping!